everybody! Sorry this speed paint is coming up a day late. I had a meet and greet with Jane Animations, The Odd Ones Out, Tim Tom, and Something Else YT yesterday, and I was busy after that with getting episode 15 of Into the Wild up, so I spaced uploading this video until now. My meet and greet video will be coming out soon, so keep an eye out for that. Anyways, back to Smudge. This is day 6 of speed paints for him. And we're jumping forward a few years and books into the Warriors timeline, to Firestar's Quest. The scene that Rachel's going to be drawing today is of Firestar comforting Smudge after he comes into ThunderClan talking about this terrible dream that he's had. So let me give you a little bit of background on this scene. Firestar has been having some strange dreams too. Hearing desperate wailings of cats, seeing a cat's face in the cloud, and shimmering cats at the gathering. He finds out from Bluestar at the Moonstone that these are the warrior ancestors of Sky Clan, the fifth and missing clan. And their territory was where the Two Lake Place is now. This is why Smudge has been receiving dreams about Sky Clan, because his house rests where this clan used to live. Smudge is frightened by these dreams, and he's unsure of their meaning, so he goes to the one other cat he knows of to have had dreams such as these. He crosses into ThunderClan territory to visit Firestar, and is intercepted by Ashfur and Brambleclaw, who beat him up pretty good. Firestar is nearby and hears the scuffle, and he comes to Smudge's rescue. I'll read the scene from the book to you guys now. It's Firestar's Quest, pages 71 through 74. Smudge heaved himself to his paws, glaring at his attackers. His fur was covered in dust and stuck out in all directions, but he didn't seem to be hurt. You're lucky I was here to save your pelt, Firestar remarked as the patrols vanished among the trees. I'll never understand you, Firestar. You actually want to live with these violent ruffians? Firestar hid his amusement. There was no point in trying to explain that these violent ruffians were warriors who had risked their life at his side time and time again. It's good to see you again, Smudge. Why did you come so far into the forest? You know it's dangerous for you. Smudge looked away, scuffling the ground with his forepaws. Well? Firestar prompted. I... I think... That is... I'm afraid that I might have to come and live in the forest with you! Great Star Clan, what's happened? It's not Blood Clan, is it? Who? Never mind. You're two legs then. They haven't thrown you out, have they? No! My housefolk have always been very good to me! Smudge cast a longing glance over his shoulder towards the red stone nest where he had lived. It's just, well, I've been having these weird dreams. And I remember you told me that you had dreams before you went to join the forest cats. Horror gleamed in his eyes, and Firestar, for all his sympathy, found himself hiding a purr of amusement that his old friend couldn't imagine anything worse than having to live in the clan. I thought my dreams must mean I had to leave my house folk. I wouldn't worry. Dreams have many meanings. And sometimes, a dream is just a dream. I'm sure you won't have to eat bones just yet. But these dreams are terrible! I keep seeing lots of cats! They're running away! But I never get to see what's chasing them! They're wailing and shrieking, as if they're scared or in pain. And sometimes, I see a gray and white tom on his own. He keeps opening and closing his mouth as if he's trying to tell me something, but I can't hear what he's saying. Every hair on Firestar's pelt bristled. Smudge was having the same dreams as him. But why? Surely SkyClan didn't think that a kitty pet could help them. What do you think? Smudge asked nervously. Do I have to come and live in the forest? Firestar knew that he had to decide how much to tell his friend. Though his faith in StarClan had been badly shaken, he still felt some loyalty towards them. At least he didn't feel that he could tell Smudge how StarClan had allowed SkyClan to be driven from the forest, and then lied about it afterwards. Besides, if he tried to explain, how much would Smudge even understand? He had no idea about the Warrior Code, or what it was like to live in the clan. Don't worry about it. There's no reason for you to leave your two legs. Are you sure? Positive. I know a bit about these dreams already and I'm trying to sort everything out. Smudge looked puzzled, but relieved as well. I guess I'll let you handle it then. All right, so that's the end of today's scene. Tomorrow we're gonna do the rest of that scene. Firestar should have just said yes. That means you have to come and live in ThunderClan, Smudge. Smudge was scared, but he could have made a fine warrior. Eh, maybe not. <laughs> He's a kitty pet through and through. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's speed paint. I'd love to hear in the comment section down below what you think would have become of Smudge if he had joined ThunderClan, either back in Into the Wild or now in Firestar's Quest. Well, that's all I have for you guys for today. I'll see you guys soon with the next speed paint. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Alright guys, bye bye